all right what's good youtube highly requested video here today we're going to break down my personal settings for mlb the show 21 that includes audio settings batting and base running settings pitching and fielding settings um a lot of people want to know what my settings are they're either new players or they want to get better they want to know what the top settings are it is not real such there's not a real you know thing for that there's no top setting but there are some things i highly recommend uh, especially on the batting fielding and pitching side so we'll break that down now let's go through the hitting uh hitting first and then i'll play test it and i'll show you batting and base running i'm on hall of fame right now ignore that that's just me taking the difficulty for practice not a big thing i hit on strike zone i personally think strike zone is the most competitively viable camera angle i alternated for a long time between strike zone and strike zone high strike zone high is my preference all that is is it's slightly zoomed out and a little bit higher up strike zone i had it help it helped me a lot with recognizing pitches in mlb 20 previous game as well as catching up to fast pitching on legend um, especially when I was playing on the PS5 and the game was all wonky um, when playing 20. Anywho, besides the point, I recommend Strike Zone, especially if you're just starting out and you're not good on any particular camera angle. You might as well learn to hit on Strike Zone. Um, a new player told me that it looked really close and it was like all crazy close in. I know. Trust me. Try it out. You'll see why. In play view offense, I have a dynamic. Why do I have a dynamic? I have it on dynamic because I like to watch the guys hit pimp jobs at the plate when I hit and that's what it shows. Um, super cool. Um, you see pimp jobs in online modes because there's no no doubter animations like there is offline. On online modes, you only get to see the pimp job if you're on dynamic. That's what I like. Um, you don't get to see the ball trail from a high perspective. It's all right. I like dynamic. That's up to you, really. I personally see the pimp jobs. This is a preference thing. Ball trail, I have it turned off. Once again, preference, whatever you guys want. Hitting interface zone. This is a must. If you want to be good at MLB The Show 21 or any MLB The Show, you need to hit on zone. You use the left stick to aim plus the swing buttons. You need zone. No ifs, ands, or buts. Directional is not a thing. Pure analog. Nope. Can't do that. It's got to be zone. Trust me. Next up, input type buttons. Another one. It's got to be buttons. Um, that's my recommendation. You have to use buttons. Uh, there's really no other option here. Got to go with buttons here. Analog type flick. That doesn't flick doesn't matter i'm not that's if i'm using analog hitting which i'm not so don't even pay attention to that camera shift on that's for directional hitting do not have that on ignore that pci on yes have the pci on of course you need to have your direction uh, uh your your uh your plate coverage indicator for when you're hitting with zone that is the um the circular thing that shows you it's an indicator of where you are currently and how you track the ball essentially your your crosshair if you've played shooter games before PCI center. This is my PCI settings. I'll show you what it looks like in one second. Diamonds are the center. Wedge is the inner. I don't use an outer. That's the bigger one. Outer is indicator of how crazy good your vision is. Inner is contact and center is not indicated. Is not affected by anything, but inner is affected by contact. So higher contact player, bigger PCI, so on and so forth. Anyway, color cyan. This is preference. I like cyan. I think cyan or yellow um, and second rate is white but though cyan and yellow are to me are the two best um i think they're the easiest to see and i think they just i don't know i think they work the best but again preference transparency 60 percent preference once again but works for me i'm a top 10 lifetime player from over the show 20 uh i'm killing it right now in 21 and rank knock on wood we're popping off in rank 22 and one i believe um so that's pretty dope uh pci fade out that's if it's on outer there's no outer this is a fade uh, this does ignore this this is only if we use an outer pci we don't now before i have anything else i'll show you what my, this pci looks like we're in practice right now this is what this pci looks like in game when i play a little perfect perfect john um i've already gone over hitting tips so i won't go crazy into what i do when i hit but i like this pci because it, it um doesn't feel like i'm getting crowded on inside pitches which i like um you have a little bit more leeway because the big bumpers on the outside kind of like a hammer you lead it towards the outside pitch and you cover yourself on the inside um so that's my explanation for it that's why i like this pci uh, i wish there were more customizable options like you could make the center diamonds maybe a little bit lighter than the outer or the inner but you know we'll take what we can get like i said i use this pci for that reason i personally like it as you see like up and in the smaller sides there it doesn't feel like you're getting choked out um and yeah that's really much all my pci settings Go over quick hitting tips again when i hit 
I have my PCI up here, a little bit of movement before, up here, and I would swing ahead of the strike, but I didn't, um, obviously. This, like little rhythmic movements with this PCI are nice. It's very, very proportional. Little one, two timing. Boom, crush. I'm not sure if I went over that in the, in the hitting tips, but I like this timing mechanism. If I'm struggling, get back to basics. Circle, circle, one, one, boom. A little off, but you get the gist of it. Circle to keep yourself flexible. Go clockwise, counterclockwise. Little one, two tap, keeps your timing down. This is for flexibility, this little rotation. This one, two is for timing. All that is. Now, I'm not doing the greatest indicator of this, but obviously I'm just taking some random cuts, but works for me. A little circle job, keep myself loose. One, two, boom. I would have crushed that if I was actually good. Now, anyways, for seriously, uh, just messing around. That's my settings for hitting. Now, pitching, ignore the difficulty. That's just for practice. Don't pay attention to that, but I will, I guess I'll show you it. Um, we're going to Hall of Fame for that. Pitching interface, I use pure analog. Now, this is where it's going to get weird. I'm working on getting good with pinpoint pitching. Pinpoint is the best thing to use if you are great at pitching. If you can master pinpoint pitching, you will be the nastiest pitcher. I am dotting with analog right now, but I am very good with analog, and I'm still missing by fractions sometimes where pinpoint wouldn't. Pinpoint's obviously more difficult, but analog, uh, oh, but pinpoint is still, it's high risk, high reward. You know the deal. But for the sake of this video where it's just settings, I'll show you analog. Uh, feedback's on. I want to know the feedback. Um, that's really not that crazy. It displays feedback of each pitch, shows you strike zone, stuff like that. Pitching view, I pitch on strike zone. I like to pitch from the angle I hit at. It gives me the perspective of a hitter so I know what to expect, what not to expect, what I should throw in the situation, um, what the hitter wouldn't be looking for, what would be nasty, all of that. It's a lot better this year, too. Pitches look a little more realistic, so... That's a uh, nice to know. Pitch trail on. That this is just a ball marker. Uh, I like pitch trail on. It shows you the break of the pitch, which is pretty sick. It shows you what its trajectory is. I think it's just the most helpful. So that's preference once again. But this is what I use. Uh, pitch confidence. This is on. Uh, shows you the confidence for your pitches, which is important to know if you're getting lit up over certain pitches, yours is getting destroyed, or if you're striking out hitters with that pitch and getting outs with it. What the level of confidence is that affects things like control and you know um that, that, i think it mostly affects control i have a little bit of a suspicion it affects exit velos too but that's just my suspicions i know for a fact it affects control so that's important to know pitch delay um this is just for computer games api uh this is just for computer games as well don't pay attention to that that's just offline stuff not important uh and fielding this is a good question. This is a good one. People always want to know this question. You know, what do you use for fielding? Okay. Button accuracy. You need that for throwing interface. You need to know the meter of your of, of your player you're using. Some guys have smaller little green meters because their accuracy is low. Some are bigger. If you want to know the timing of it on diving plays, running plays, whatever it is, you need to have button accuracy on. It's a timing mechanism. You need it. Trust me. It's the only thing. It's the best one by far. Throwing meter. Oh, I just changed it. Throwing meter. Um... This is the throwing meter shows you the meter of the it's button accuracy. Throwing meter shows you it, the meter. You need it. Both those on. Fielding decision on assist. The game will move your fielder a few steps toward the ball before giving you control. Auto CPU will automatically ooh, will automatically field the ball for you. Never do that. It's not even not even a choice. It, it's assist automatically online play. It says it there. Throwing decision. Um, this is uh, disabled in online play. No need. I use in play view defense high. It shows the highest angle of the field when the ball's hit. It gives me perspective on relays and um, best routes to the ball and all that stuff. And essentially just judging what's going on when I am fielding. So that's helpful in that matter. Now, next thing up, throw canceling. I like to have this on. I can do pump fakes. I could make, a, if I make a mistake, I could cancel it. Very important stuff. Highly recommend turning this on. One button dive and jump. I have this off. Um, this is just enables one button control for both diving and jumping when on the jump button will trigger either a jump or dive depending on the situation the dive button works identical to the jump button i don't have that on uh auto infield jump reaction on auto infield dive blah 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 this is um you know it's good it auto dives for you it, it, it never really gets in the way of anything it always actually helps so i, I really recommend this having this on um i believe it's automatically set to on anyways i never touch those drifting ball now this game is automatically set to track ball it's the new mechanic they have for the fielding to show you when you can dive forward or like the route to take nobody has liked that in my chat or that i've seen everyone's changing it back to what it used to be the drifting ball um the indicator it's just it's just better so i'm gonna rock with that 
Uh, defensive shift. I have it on manual. This is the auto shift. I don't want that on auto. I don't like letting up cheap hits to the shift. It doesn't play the same as real life. Manual. I want to get beat by real hits most of the time, not fluky hits. It's cost my opponents a lot of... Uh, I've gotten so many fluke doubles and triples because of that. It's not worth it. I rather let up a, a, a bloop single than a fluke triple. Trust me. Off the wall ribbon. I have this off. Turns uh, This ribbon displays the path of the ball after it hits the outfield wall in the air. Um... Ribbon displays the path of the ball after it hits the outfield wall in the air. I'm gonna put that on. I think that might be that might be um caroms. It shows you the carom off the wall. I don't know why that was off. That was on last year. Anyway, um, we're gonna actually pitch right now. I'm gonna pitch with the Grom to Schwarber. Um, I don't think I'm gonna there's no batter right now, so we won't be able to see the field in play. Maybe if I have a batter, he'll hit and he'll you can see what it looks like. Let's get him in there. Practice type batting. No. Practice type pitching. Show batter. Yes. Now, I, w I hope he hits the ball. I'm going to throw in on the middle. I want to just, you know. Okay, see, now that's high. That's what it looks like on high. If you guys can, you obviously know what that means, um, why I use that. It, it shows the, be the best possible angle uh, over, the cam over the field cam. It just gives you a lot of, you know, leeway and uh, room to work with. So that's my settings overall, guys. That's what I rock with. This is what I go with. Uh, oh, one more thing before I dip. People want to know my audio settings. Why my sounds are loud and why there's nothing else going on. I have sound effects volume all the way up. I have everything else all the way down. Commentary gets old and super repetitive. So does all the other things. PA volume's too loud. Music, don't want that. Sounds of the show. That's like blah, blah, blah. Like com It's like um, Mad Fast Gersion here with uh, what all that stuff. Unfortunately, this year's sound effects is linked to menu sounds, so it's ridiculously loud, but that's okay. Um, I'll take the good with the bad. This is why the, the crack of the bat sounds absurd when I play, fielding animations, pitching, all that stuff. I like to have the game sentences heightened. So that's all of my settings, guys. Hitting, pitching, and my background settings, whatever it is, audio, all that stuff. That's what I got for you guys. Oh, graphically, didn't touch a thing. Did not touch a thing. Um, if you guys are curious about my PS5 settings specifically, come into chat and ask me while I'm live. I could show you, I'll just hit the button. It's really, I'd change nothing. I'm on 1080p, HDR off. That's the two things that matter the most. If you need to know that, that's all that matters if you're on PS5. Not too sure about Xbox or Xbox um, X. But that's my settings, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, like the video, please. It'd mean a lot to me. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys wanna see in the future and subscribe to the channel and do not forget to put that bell on so you don't miss when I post, which is every single day at noon Eastern with some little uploads sprinkled in just like this one. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Till next time, I'm out. Bye.